Hi friends, welcome to Kraku. I hope you are all doing well. Today we will be discussing some important general awareness questions that appeared in uh, IFT 2016, 2017 and 2018. This will also help you in uh, other uh, competitive exams like say ZAT or many, there are many other exams that will have GK as an important section. So, we will have a first we will have a look at the exam pattern. Before we have a look at exam pattern, let's just say, let's say I am I'm, uh, just started out with CAT. I am just preparing with CAT. I just heard that there is a very good institute called IFT2. It is very good for trade. It is very good for uh, uh, say finance. It is renowned across Asia and the world. So I am just curious. I am not so serious. So for people like them, let me tell you that CAT and IFT are two different exams. You cannot equate them. The main misconception is that uh, uh, let's say the CAT exam is on 24th November and the IFT exam is on December 1st. People say there are 7 days, I will prepare for my GK in those 7 days and the sections are more or less similar. No guys, it won't work. The weightage for each section is different in both the exams. We will soon discuss about those things. The, there is a new additional section. So if you are really serious about IFT, it is one of the prestigious institutions, you will have to execute some due diligence and you will have to take at least 5 marks. So first and foremost, when you are starting out, I will advise you, you need a reality check. You need to know where you stand. Also, Krakow has uploaded 11 previous years IFT exam papers. It's for free. It is in the actual exam pattern. You should definitely give it a check. You should take the free mark. You should know where you stand. And the section you will be looking out for is GK section. Since today we are focusing about that, we will also comprehensively cover all the sections in the coming videos. Uh, in current pattern, there is about 9 uh, marks weightage in GK section and the cutoff is fairly very less. It is just about 1.5. If you get about 3 questions correct, that would qualify you in the GK section. Remind you, may, mind you that you will have to qualify in each section. You will have to pass the sectional cutoff in IFT in each section. As I said, you will have to take at least 5 mocks before the exam on December 1st because the pattern of CAT and IFT are totally different. We will just have a look at that in a moment. So coming to the exam pattern, you have 20 questions in quantitative aptitude, you have 20 questions in uh, logical reasoning, 20 in uh, data interpretation. If you observe LR and DI is combined as a single section in uh, CAT, there that will be 32 questions, here it is uh, 40 questions. So an additional weightage of LRDI is there and quant, quant is there is a slightly lesser weightage on quant and reading comprehension and verbal ability is again <coughs> split into two sections. Also you need to note that the weightage of every question is not the same. Unlike CAT, CAT all the questions have the same weightage. The Only the theta questions don't have the negative value. But here the weightage for each question is different and the negative marking for each question is different. And general awareness has 18 questions. Each question carries about 0.5 marks. A total of 9 marks. You just need to get about 1.5. That is 3 questions right to clear the sectionals. Okay, this is the last year's sectional cutoffs. Since we will be focusing on uh, GA, as I already said, it is 1.5. To just note, the last year's cutoff for IEFT was 34. If you compare that with 2017, 2017 was about 48. So from last year, they are calling fairly more candidates. That is uh, calling about 2000 people for interview in last year. Before that, there were 7500. Yet it is fairly very competitive. There are just about 360 uh, seats. If you compare it with CAT, uh, it is fairly more competitive. I think we also ignored one important question that most students ask, how do I prepare for GK? Guys, there is no hard and fast rule for this. You need to follow current affairs. If you need to know the static static GK, then you can follow many books. Uh, there are many static GK books like Manorama and there are many other books. You can follow various forums online. You will have to spend some time every week and you will have to follow the news. Say you can follow news in InShorts, they are doing a very good job. And uh, noting some key differences between CAT and IFT. We can have a look at the key differences. You cannot switch between sections. It will be a pen, it was a pen and paper exam last year, and it is a two hours while it is a three hours exam. Some other main uh, differences you can say is uh, IFT is more vocabulary or grammar intensive, while CAT has more inferential based questions. And IFT has sometimes given more weightage to say trigonometry or geometry, and CAT is it is fairly distributed over the years and uh, IFT pattern is usually it is changing. We have, we have seen 25 questions in uh, GK, we have seen 30 questions in GK, last year it was 18 questions in GK. While CAT since the few years it has become consistent, it is almost the same. 
So let's cut the chase. We have handpicked about 50 to 55 questions from the past three years of the official IFT paper. We will look at them and analyze them. First question, which of the following countries is not a member of European Union? You will have to know what countries are part of which union, say big BRICS or BIMSTEC, you will have to know which countries are part of it. So coming here, the right answer is Norway. If you know what are Scandinavian countries, there are three countries, Sweden, Norway and Finland. You'll, it will be famous for say free education or free uh, healthcare, but the tax rates are uh, usually very high. Among these countries, only Norway is not part of the European Union. They also had a referendum in 1994, but uh, they said we don't want to join European Union. Coming to the next question. The British cosmologist Stephen Hawking and the Russian entrepreneur Yuri Milner have launched a project to search for the extraterrestrial life. The project is called. This is a very interesting question guys. We have heard SETI, SETI, it is search for extraterrestrial inter intelligence. What they do is, every each one of us can contribute to this. So you have your computer, usually it sits idle. Even if you are watching a video, the computational power of your computer is being wasted. So across the world, people give their computers for rent so that they can search for extraterrestrial intelligence. How do they do that? Like we are intelligent, we uh, give out uh, radio waves or microwaves. Even the intelligent species can send out radio waves. So we are looking out around the universe for such intelligence. So the name of this is the Breakthrough Listen Project. Coming to the next question. A person with AB blood group is also called a universal recipient because of the it is funny he is universal recipient because he has lack of antibodies you know that antibodies is something that protects our body now if you take a a blood group has b negative uh, b negative antibodies while b, b, b blood, group, blood group has a negative antibodies so when you add uh, when, when there is a transfusion then the blood will coagulate but when you take a b blood group both of these antibodies are missing so even a can donate so b can donate so the right answer is lack of antibodies in the blood fourth question which indian player has created junior world record in javelin throw in july 2016 mind you that this is 2016 because this is taken from 2016 ift paper so this is a dynamic uh, gk topic so you'll have to be updating yourself with the current affairs who created the latest world record or who won which award the big big awards so the right answer for this is neeraj chopra Match the name of the multinational firm with whom the following Indians are associated with as CEO. Of course, we all know Shantanu Narayan for Adobe. If you know that, I think that one will suffice. 2D. 2D. There is only one option. You can also know Ajay, Ajay, Pal, Ajay Pal Singh Banga is for MasterCard or uh, Anshu Jain for uh, uh, Deutsche Bank. Going to the next question. Okay, this is about ambassadors. You can read out the question. Amitabh Bachchan, if you have seen ads, he has done for Everest Masala, he has done an ad for Tata Sky, he has done an ad for ICICI Bank, but he is not a brand ambassador for Rasna. So you'll have to know which uh, big celebrities are doing are ambassadors for what brands. Given below are some popular stock indices of the world. Match the stock index with the country and stock market it represents. Okay, this is a question based on uh, stock index of different countries. I think there is a similar question ahead as well. Uh, Nikkei is Japan, as soon as you, you should say it, as soon as you spot it. Kospi is uh, South Korea, I think these two are enough. Or Bovespa, Bovespa is a Spanish name, it is uh, Brazil. Uh, 2A, 2A, 3D, where is it? Yeah, this is the answer. Uh, CAT is very fast approaching. You guys need to take a lot of mocks. Technically, you need to take at least 30 mocks to get a score of 95 or uh, if you aim for very big colleges and I can confidently say as far as I know only Kraku is an institute who give more than uh, about three mocks for free no other institute gives it so you should definitely give a try first you register you try once only if you like our content then you can subscribe for the premium content I would definitely say you should start preparing right now and take the free mock okay the eighth question ha huh. This is a very nice question to Prime Ministers and Presidents. For this, you need to know a little bit of uh, Indian history. If you know this, this is a very easy answer. Manmohan Singh and APJ Abdul Kalam. And then if you know a little bit about Rajiv Gandhi and IK Gujral. IK Gujral comes somewhere in the 90s. Why 92 to 97. While Rajiv Gandhi was there in uh, 80s. If you know a little bit of history. Or you, Shankar Dayal Sharma. Shankar Dayal Sharma is a very famous Hindi author. You must all uh, have heard of his many Hindi books. 
so he is a much later person since you would have heard of him so you can connect him with someone who is ik gujral who comes after rajiv gandhi the answer is d which of the following is not correct for government of india's make in india initiative okay as soon as i is read it i can spot it it aims to substitute the imports of india the mission of make in india is to prepare manufacture more goods indigenously and not to substitute imports if you are substituting if you are taking from a country instead of b country that's not solving the problem our mission is to manufacture it indigenously and not take from any other countries so the answer is c which of the following indian states share border with multiple countries guys this is a very nice question usually examiners they like to ask about the sister states it's like many states are crowded and people don't know much and it's very repetitive question if you just uh, know that it's very nice I'll, i'll just roughly draw it so let's say this is bangladesh and uh, here we have it like this and say this is bhutan and let go and uh, this we have is sikkim and nepal so this is nepal this is sikkim and here you have bangladesh this small this is uh, tripura here you have mizoram if you take the next part of mizoram it is uh, uh, manipur then you have nagaland and if you take almost uh, this this part is meghalaya and if you take about this part like this somewhere like this this part is assam and the one that is close to china you cannot forget China is always trying to it uh, falsely claims that Arunachal Pradesh belongs to them this is Arunachal Pradesh you have Sikkim here so based on this question you have West Bengal here which country shares West Bengal also shares uh, border with Bhutan this is Bhutan it comes something so it shares with Bhutan and Bangladesh uh, West Bengal is the uh, is there then you have uh, Assam Assam also shares with Bhutan and Bangladesh and uh, then you have uh, sikkim sikkim comes between nepal bhutan and north of it this is china so the right option should be b you have to have a look at this it's very interesting which of the following is not an activity carried out by using a shell company so what's a shell company it is usually famous in news shell company is something it is usually done for fraudulent transactions or tax evasion or it is it exists only on paper it does not exist in reality so transfer pricing tax evasion so this is not something that they do there is no office there is no employees they don't do any production or manufacturing okay given below are the logos of various global firms on the basis of their logo select the correct functional area they operate in the first one if you see this is barclays barclays bank is there so it comes in banking there are two options b and d and uh, this is uh, you should know ford mustang it's pretty popular so it comes in automobiles the option is b As per the monetary policy agreement between RBI and Finance Ministry, the RBI is required to maintain inflation in the range of, guys. As soon as you see ten percent, nine percent, eight percent, these are very high rates, guys. You can directly ignore them. Such inflation rates are not acceptable. So the right answer should be A. Which of the following statement about American businessman Elon Musk is not correct? Elon Musk is pretty popular nowadays, and we would also have heard that he is from. Uh, south africa is from a place called pretoria and here it mentions that he is argentina born he is not argentina born he is from pretoria in south africa so the rest are all same uh, right his name is elon, elon rio musk he started x.com and then spacex and then tesla motors he is instrumental in leading the design and manufacture of sedan and suv cars he is revolutionizing the industry so the second one is the right answer mother teresa was born in mother teresa was born in macedonia this is a less known fact match the following biographies of india's sports players okay sanjay manjrekar's imperfect was very popular i know that c is 2 2 is c sorry oh so the, there is only one option with 2 as c there was uh, there was one more popular that is unbreakable by mary com so that is the right answer these things you will have to uh, know guys you will have to be either following the news or you will have to read books only then you will know match the bollywood actors with their debut hindi films i am not such a movie buff so the right answer for this is d if you are good in movies then this can help you probably euro dollars are this is a very common sense question guys euro dollars are nothing but us dollars it's held in europe 
match the trophies and cup associated with each sport okay first one very simple guys badminton bwf as soon as you see bwf b in bwf stands for badminton badminton world federation so one is d the first one is the right oh no the first one and there is a third one two second one is hockey hockey when you see hockey is an indian sport so rangaswami cup cannot come for football or it cannot come for table tennis so two is c the first one is the right answer or you can also spot that football is for durand cup football is somewhat a english game more popular in europe so it wouldn't be bara belek cup it should be football for a so a is the right answer which is the first eurozone nation to exit its bailout package so you need a little bit of background here for this you will have to read international news you will have to be following international news uh, so just telling what is bailout package uh, if you take uh, you would have heard in news that uh, some uh, during recession some banks were bailed out that that is something the government bails out this is something when an entire country goes into bankruptcy when the entire country is going under recession in such a time the bailout package is given in I ireland had been uh, had taken a bailout package in 2010 and then it uh, exited it in 2013 so, so you'll have to know these things who is the vice chairman of the niti ayog niti ayog you should know it the prime minister of india has introduced it sri narendra modi is the chairman the vice press uh, the vice chairman will be dr rajiv kumar he was the vice chairman and he, he is continuing to be the vice chairman even right now the remains of which ancient Civilization can be seen at the site of Machu Picchu in Peru. Guys, you know, if you, if you know, if you have heard of the seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu is one. It is a wonder because even in the 1400s, 1490s, these guys constructed canals, roads and civilization. They existed for less than 100 years and they still built an excellent uh, network of roads, canals, very sophisticated. And but they got plagued by diseases and war and they died off but they were called the Incas. You should check out a video on uh, YouTube by Ted Ed, the rise and fall of the Inca empire. It's really nice. Match the following with the personality on whose the life is based on. The social network, we all know it is Mark Zuckerberg. The special relationship. The special relationship is on uh, Tony Blair. He is the uh, ex-British uh, Prime Minister. He is from the Labour Party. And then you have the lady. The lady is about Aung San Suu Kyi. She is from Burma. If you know uh, Burma, got uh, became uh, not independent it is more like they became more democratic uh, lately only in 2011 from 1962 to 2011 there was military rule in burma her party she had a party called as nld it won 81 percent of votes in 1991 still the military did not uh, let the baton to them so she won the nobel peace prize for her struggles for human rights so the right answer should be b which of the following best represents baking soda? Potassium carbonate, some chemistry here. Potassium carbonate is K2CO3. Sodium chloride is NaCl. Potassium hydroxide is KOH. Sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3. NaHCO3 is popularly called as baking soda. Washing soda is Na2CO3, potassium carbonate. Uh, I mean, sorry, sodium carbonate. Which of the following is most exported agricultural commodity from India in terms of value? Guys, it is agricultural commodity and it is in terms of value. The right answer is rice. The biggest exporter, India is biggest exporter of, you can say, diamonds, precious metals, computers, pharma. Oh, I cannot forget oil, pharma. The ease of doing business index is an index created by the World Bank Group. Which of the following is not correct about ease of doing business? Economies are ranked on their basis of doing business, right? At that time, there were 190 countries. Right now, there are 195 countries. A high base of doing business ranking means the regulatory environment is more conducive to the starting and operation of a local firm. Exactly right. Regulations covering financial markets, levels of employment and intellectual property are an important parameter in determining the country rankings. See, these are also parameters, but they are not important parameters. Levels of employment, it doesn't really affect much of uh, ease of doing business. Or if you take the intellectual property rights, they do matter, but not as much. So the closest one would be this one. The right answer would be C. This is not the right answer. Right answer is C. Because they have asked which of the following is not correct. Who discovered Pluto in the year 1930? We all know Albert Einstein is popular for his various theories general relativity 
or a photoelectric effect. Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan is like the uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson of uh, previous generation. He was uh, motivating youngsters to get into science. So the both the options are eliminated. Cly the right answer is Clyde Tombo. But how you can commit it is it is more of an American name. While this is more of a uh, Spanish name sort of. If you take 1930s, that is the time when uh, Russia and US were getting into the space race. So you can slightly say that America is more likely to have discovered it than some of the Spanish countries. So the right answer is Clyde Tombo. Which of the following company has designed the human humanoid robot Sophia? This is something we all got baited in last year. Even I knew it was Hansen Robotics. I did not know the right spelling. I marked this, but the right answer is H A N S O N Robotics. We have all seen uh, Sophia in various talk shows, late night talk shows. The right answer is Hansen Robotics. Which country inaugurated the first electric road in world heavy transports? Guys, this is a very innovative technology and the first one to bring it to the fore is uh, Sweden. We all know that the entire world is pushing towards uh, uh, electrification of cars and automobiles. Even India has promised to do it by 2030. Sweden, what they have done is if you take a road, if you take especially heavy transport vehicles, the mileage that they get out of uh, for one charge is very less. So they have laid out the entire road with electric cables. So when the truck is moving, it is connected by a cord, by a cord, by its arm to the road and it is continuously charging. So there is no mileage issue. So this was first inaugurated by Sweden. Who is acknowledged as the creator of Ch Chandigarh's rock garden? It is Ne Chand Saini. He is a self-taught artist. What is the currency of Bulgaria? You need to know the currency of various countries. The currency of Bulgaria is Lev. Who among the following has won the maximum all-time Grand Slam women's singles titles? Actually, when this question came out, uh, Serena Williams was very much in news. So, people, many people went into Serena Williams. But the right answer is Margaret Court. Even now, she has about 24 all-time Grand Slam titles, while Serena Williams has 23. If you take among men, Federer has... Uh, maximum of 20 Grand Slam titles. Mark the wrong combination. James Watt dis was dis uh, steam engine. Telephone was discovered by Graham Bell. Television by Baird. And Pencilin. Pencilin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. Somewhere in the school we should have learned this. So the right answer is D. Which of the following is the correct sequence of seaports from south to north? You need to know geography. So we have Vizinjam, it is in uh, Kerala, it is in the bottom part of Kerala. Then you have Cochin, then you have Kozikod, then you have Kannur. Uh, Mangalore comes in uh, Karnataka. After Mangalore you have uh, Udupi, then you have uh, uh, Murdeshwar, and then you have Goa, then you have Bombay. It goes on, then you have Surat. Okay. So the right answer is Vizinjam, Cochin, Kozikod and Mangalore. Krakow also has about 500 questions that is topic wise questions no one has done this again we have se sectional test is different topic wise questions is different that is they have tests for each topic say inequalities they have five questions based test so this is something again unique you can take all these 500 questions for free you can check the answers you can take it for free and if you like it you can subscribe for the premium content Bitcoin Bitcoin we all know as soon as you see cryptography you should be marking B straightforward what is director identification number? Director identification number is something that is given by central government. It is given, it is an eight digit unique code. It is given to someone if you want to apply for the director post of a company, then you have this number. The right answer is B, a number which the central government allows to any individual intending to be appointed as director to any ex or to any existing director of a company. Match the name of the city with the river on whose banks it is located. So you'll have to know where the major rivers of different countries are there. Seol, if you see Seol, Seol is a South Korean. Han is again a South Korean name. Seol is in South Korea's capital. So you can connect 4C. Where do we have 4C? It is in only one option. So you can conclude the an right answer is A. You'll have to know these guys. You'll have to know where the uh, centers of different world organizations are located. I just mark the right answer here. The right answer is D. You'll have to know where it is located. General elections were held in Myanmar on 8th November 2015. This is what I talked about that uh, in Myanmar, it's a, it has a very bloody history uh, between the government, the Rohingya Muslims, the military. There was a lot, a lot of civil war and all. 
on 8th november is the first time after 2011 the military rule ended 8th november there was the general elections which party won that's what i said nld had won back in uh, 1991 itself the, but the military had not paved way for them the right answer is national league for democracy which of the following telecom operator has launched the app based internet calling service wings wings was launched by bsnl match the name of the book with its author to kill mockingbird this was uh, this won the pulitzer award this is the highest honor for uh, uh, literature and it was written by harper lee so 1d we have 1d two options you should also know passage of india passage of india was written by em forster em forster is uh, he wrote it about when uh, in 1920s when there were uh, when india was colonized by the britishers it is based on that time so the right answer is 2a right answer is b which of the following industry is not covered in the index of eight core industries so india has eight core industries i'll just name them for you electricity you have steel you have refined products you have crude oil you have coal you have cement you have natural gas the last one is fertilizer but uh, pharmaceutical companies pharmaceutical is not uh, among the core industries so answer is d which film won the oscar award the right answer is big hero 6 you'll have to know the various contemporary awards this is a 2016 ift so they have asked 2015 you'll have to know the latest contemporary awards which of the following stock market index is not correctly matched with the country we already discussed one question on stock market we know japan is nikkei kospi is south korea you know france is cac united kingdom is not m13 united kingdoms uh, it starts as ftsc you should know also india's is uh, sensex nifty by uh, the two stock exchanges which of the following is not an elected post in india we all know that chief minister are elected by the people prime minister we vote in the lok sabha elections this is where the confusion arises if you know that the governor is appointed by the president usually you will see that president appointed this person as governor for this state so he is someone who is appointed he is not elected so technically president is appointed by various members of legislative assemblies or the members of parliament governor is appointed by the president so the right answer is governor he is not it is not an elected position match each brand with the most appropriate industry type it represents this is very easy question guys facebook we all know its technology Louis Vuitton is luxury. B four, Visa is a financial service. UPS is one of the biggest uh, uh, transport company for transporting goods from one place to another. Accenture is again Accenture is a business. It's a service company like Infosys. So the right answer is C. The US recently announced that it's redesigned ten dollar bill. Yeah, it is going to be issued in twenty twenty. It is going to have a face of a woman. interesting fact what is the motto of the 2016 olympics to be held in rio de janeiro this was in 2016 so it is in this tense the answer is live your passion you will have to know the motto of various organization of events that are coming up national events international events the, there was one more similar question in ift itself what is the motto of the national youth festival the motto of national youth festival was uh, india youth for skill development and harmony that was also a question of uh, uh, ieft itself national youth festival so do make a note of these mottos of different events why are indirect taxes termed as regressive taxing mechanisms first you need to know what are indirect taxes indirect taxes are uh, you can take uh, vat or you can take uh, excise duty it is something if you purchase a biscuit you are not giving tax for it directly but the manufacturing is giving giving for it the distributor is paying certain tax they are paying excise duty and vat but in the latest implementation of gst these slew of taxes were somehow curtailed so this is a very this is a old question so the right answer should, would be indirect taxes are charged uniformly to all income groups right anyone purchases a biscuit they will give the same amount of tax in the sense we are not giving it directly the manufacturing is giving it but the price will pass it on to us Match the name of the organization with the name of the city in which it is headquartered. IMF. IMF 
if you know one of it it's nfis imf is in is in washington dc so the right answer is c if you also know international olympic committee is in lausanne it is in switzerland even geneva is in switzerland paris is in france washington is in us which of the following company has acquired jabong in july 2016 it was mintra we need to know all the latest acquisitions the panama canal expansion project is also referred to panama canal is called as third set of locks because it is some it is a very nice project you have to watch how they transport between two continents that is you have the north america here and you have the south america here it is connected between by panama it is a country so they have built a artificial uh, network of 82 km of river not a river a sort of a canal where ships can pass through and there is a huge uh, uh, depth difference between the atlantic ocean as well as the pacific ocean so it's amazing how they transport the ships you have to watch it online so the right answer is third set of locks which of the following agreement is not related to the world trade organization they do not they have various functions this is a function that is done by untad uncted so the right answer is c india is building which of the following port in iran in order to improve trade connectivity with iran afghanistan and central asian countries the answer is chabar port every country wants to expand its uh, trade trade route so that uh, they can export things at cheaper rate uh, there is a similar question uh, which is the port in indonesia that india is building and it is sabang port it is also to strengthen uh, trade routes the last question nice the last question happens to be my favorite question satyam eva jayate is ins inscribed on one of the indian currency has been derived from which of the following ancient indian scripture the right answer is mundaka upanishad so just giving you a background what is veda or upanishad there are four vedas rigveda which talks about truth or reality yajur veda speaks six speaks about sacrifice sam veda speaks about praises of god and atharva veda deals with magic curses and blessings yeah upanishads there are about 108 upanishads and upanishads is like a sequel version of the vedas vedas were thousands of years ago upanishads are about 2500 years uh, about 500 to 300 bc at this time they adapted it to the contemporary time so it's like upanishads puranas are all adapted versions and then you have two major epics ramayana and mahabharata mahabharata is the longest poem ever known to human kind is the longest poem written so everything speaks about one thing and that dharma has to be followed and being the last question i'll advise you the same thing follow your dharma guys work hard there is no substitute for working hard make sure you make every moment of yours count we'll see you soon thank you